Hey everyone, this is Day Trader Rockstar, and this is an updated uh, watch list. I just wanted to update you guys on a Sunday evening, uh, October 28th, before um, an oncoming hurricane up up here in the east uh, northeast corridor. Um, I want to go over, you know, because my experience with the hurricane this year, I wanted to actually give my give uh, kind of an update on stocks that I think could get affected going into next week. Now, on the uh, high probability watch list, I did mention Briggs & Stratton, which is a great setup. Briggs & Stratton, uh, of course, you know, let, let me first back up a bit in saying that once, once we started hearing this hurricane was getting a little closer, I said, you know what, let me let me actually go out and get a generator for my house. I never really, always wanted to get a generator, never really looked into it. I decided on, you know, I, Saturday I would go look for one. Everything was sold out. Everything, the whole county, the whole, you know, the eastern seabird sold out of generators. I went to Home Depot and the guy said, you know, come, give me a call tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. We should be getting a shipment overnight. But be here by 6 because there's going to be a line out the door. And there was a line out the door. It was like, you know, it was, and they were sold out at 6.05. So I didn't get a, a generator. I ended up getting a generator on order. Hopefully I get it tomorrow. It's a different type of. It's a powerhouse generator. Now, and and in my progress, in in my process of all this, I had to do all this research. So, you know, there is other. There is a pure play generator play in the uh, in the market here, and uh, that's what I really wanted to talk about tonight. Tonight is a, the G, the GNCR, which let me actually excuse me, uh, GNRC. Excuse me. Again, this is a stock I've never really traded before, but now that I've done all my research on, uh, gener you know, whatever these generators are from this specific company, Generac, Generac uh, generators, they're a pure play on generators. They make generators, and you can see since this um, this hurricane was announced, we actually had a, a nice bounce here. Uh, it also happened to off, be off of technical 20-period moving average, but a three-day move here in uh, in this in this stock. And I read the reviews on this generator. I wasn't too impressed. You know, what was really the best generator out there was Honda generators. But when you talk about the big, like the big box stores, like the Home Depots and the Lowe's and stuff, they buy, they have the Generex, they have the Briggs & Stratton. Sears has Briggs & Stratton's. I was on the list for that. I ended up getting a powerhouse. Uh, an inverter generator, but I learned so much about generators. And one thing I didn't learn that a storm at this size really uh, affects the whole eastern coast. I mean, generators, gas cans were out of D batteries are out. You know, in in my county, D batteries, uh, water is out. You know, but I was, you know, I thought ahead about this. I, you know, this is something that uh, you know. I, for me, you know, a camper, a hiker, you know, I don't know. I only call myself a survivalist, but I love being prepared for certain situations. I have all this, you know, sit, you know, have all this uh, freeze-dried food and stuff, and I have water containers. So I was able to actually plan for this a little bit of, uh, ahead of time. So I may actually have some, uh, I actually have some good food and water supplies and stuff. And we're going to see what happens with this uh, hurricane because if they expect us to be out of uh, power for seven to uh, – 10 days if you know worst case scenario it'd be great to have a generator on hand um but um again i, I just wanted to touch base with you guys on this on the situation because even though generic holdings have already made this nice little move and you know i think it's important just to learn from you know these levels and just go back and say all right what are next quarter earnings going to be and how is it going to reflect this how is it going to reflect the earnings because down the road, maybe next year, a year after that, you see a major hurricane coming up, and you see a reaction in the stock. And even if the reaction in the stock doesn't happen right away, and we're able to say, "All right, I want to follow the generator stocks next quarter and see if there's a, there's a, you know, there's something added to the bottom line or the top line because of the hurricane," and see how the reaction of the stock is. That might be an easy setup going into, uh, you know, a trade. That might be a great trade if we actually happen to see that. You can see the results of this latest move. Briggs & Stratton BGG, which I have on the um, the watch list this week because of the fact of uh, –
because of this hurricane actually is a, a, a textbook flag. So, you know, this is even a great too. And even though Briggs and Stratton is really sold, you know, I, independent uh, independent uh, places, but Sears actually carries them. And I was actually on the list for Briggs and Stratton, but uh, decided to get this powerhouse instead. We'll see what happens out of this pattern. And, you know, this looks good. And what are, you know, some other things that we could think about as a hurricane play? I mean, it's hard to believe that water is going to get a big lift. And what are the good water companies out there? Battery companies, again, the same thing. Um, you know, right now it seems like pure play generator, uh, generate, uh, like a pure play generator play, like um, gen generic generators seems to be a really good setup. But it's already moved four days ahead of the hurricane. Once they announced this head hurricane was a severe her hurricane, you could actually see the volume starting to pick up and something like So this is great to know. Even if you missed a trade this time, you know, this is a great stock to follow. The Briggs & Stratton um, is the other one. And then we'll talk about other hurricane stocks. Now, uh, insurance stocks. When ins you know, you think about insurance, and you always wonder, like, well, well, how do you play into your insurance stocks? Well, you think of a big hurricane, there's going to be big insurance payouts. So the first thing you would think is that insurance stocks would get hit by that, and people would sell insurance stocks. So we'll let's take a look at three of the more popular hurricane ins insurance stocks. Allstate. You can see Allstate actually sold off the last three three days. Um, and I have, I'm just the first time so I'm looking at these. So okay. Chubb is the other one, CB. And you can see how this sold off. And then Travelers, TRV. Very similar patterns in all three of these ca casualty insurance companies. Allstate, Chubb, and Travelers. All pulling back. Now what's interesting about this is, yeah, if we could... You know, realize the next time there's a there's a, a maybe a possible storm out in the distance, it could become a big one. This might be a short play. Now, what happens if this hurricane is not all that it is racked up to be? These stocks tend to ricochet right back up to where they were. So this whole level that's been you know being affected over this hurricane should be taken back. So, you know, that's another you know it could be a long play too. 71 to you know back up to 73 or 72 uh you know it's definitely a, a situation but that's the other um sector that i would be following is the insurance companies so really it's really the um the generator play briggs and stratton generic gn what is that one again gnrc uh, uh, insurance stocks allstate chubb and travelers and, you know, maybe in some steel stocks, you know, if the hurricane's bad enough, they need to b rebuild some things. But I don't see that really adding too much to the bottom. You know, it's not a worldwide event. It's a, it's a, it's kind of a isolated event. But we'll see what happens with some of those other ones. But just want to touch base with you with uh, some comments on my experience with this hurricane. Having, uh, you know, running around trying to find gas. T ga I couldn't even find gas cans anywhere. You know, I had to borrow some from Geronimo. You know, I have this boat gas can I filled up for my generator. And my generator's not even here. It's it's supposed to come tomorrow. So I don't even know if I'm going to have a generator. But, you know, the, the fact is, everything that you do is research. And if you could realize that, you know, what goes really fast, you maybe be able to profit from it. So generators, insurance, and just a little key. Hey, what if this hurricane hits big time? Uh, I'm going to do my best to stay on the air. You know, hopefully RPM can carry, pick up if I'm not on the air or someone else can pick up uh, if I'm not on the air. But we'll 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 figure that out as we can. Um, if I have a generator here, I'll definitely be on the air. Uh, and that will be uh, probably on Tuesday. Uh, Monday, I won't have the generator until later in the day. So I'm going to go into the office tomorrow. We'll see if we have power. And we'll take it from there. So this is a little update. I hope everyone um, is safe out there on the East Coast. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow, hopefully. All right. Take care.